Hey what's up guys, Dwin here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Android 4.2 on your Samsung Galaxy S3. So you guys will need a rooted Samsung Galaxy S3 with Super SU and you guys will have to have clock recovery on the device. If you guys want to know how to root the device, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also put an annotation somewhere in the screen. And if you guys want to know how to install clock recovery, I'll also put a link in the description below and I'll also put an annotation somewhere in the screen so once you guys have everything done let's go and go to your computer okay guys once you have your computer go and go to the website get.cm I'll put a link in the description below now scroll down till you guys see these links and it should link you guys to things like AT&T Samsung Galaxy S3 Samsung Galaxy S3 for MPCS, Sprint, T-Mobile, USL, and Verizon. So I'm going to go ahead and go to AT&T because my Samsung Galaxy S3 is on AT&T. So once you click on it, you guys should be able to see this one. Again, you guys should be able to see Samsung Galaxy S3, AT&T. Okay. Now over here, you guys should be able to see CM.10.1. So 10.1 means Android 4.2. So go ahead and click download and it should start downloading. And make sure to download the latest one. Okay guys, now go ahead and go to my computer. And make sure to plug in your device. And you guys should have something like this. Your device should show up. Go ahead and open it. Go to your phone. And you guys should see all the folders. Now right click and press new folder and name it root. Now we have to drag cyanogen mode 10.1 file into here. So let's go and do that. So I have my cyanogen mode 10.1 file over here. And I just dragged it in and, it's, and as you guys can see it's copying. And this should take less than 10 seconds to copy. And again it's done. So to interrupt guys, I forgot to mention that you guys have to download G-Apps. G-Apps basically gives you apps such as Google Play, Gmail, and those are the Google services. So to get this, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can download the zip file. So basically, drag the zip file to the folder, the root folder that you guys created. And to install it, it's basically the same thing as what you guys are doing in Clocker Recovery with the Cyanogen Mode 10 file. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment in the comment section below. Now unplug your device from your computer. So once the file has been transferred to your device, go ahead and press the power button. And the power menu should come up. Press restart. And press OK. So while your phone is restarting, Hold on the volume up button and the home button at the same time and it should go to recovery mode. And again you guys should have clocker recovery installed. If you guys don't have it, I'll put a link in the description below and I'll also put an annotation. Now let go of the device and you guys should be and you guys should be able to see something like this. And you guys will scroll up and down with the volume button. And you guys can press OK with the home button or the power button. Scroll down and go to wipe data factory reset. Scroll down and press CS. Yes. And your phone should start formatting. Now go down again and go to wipe. Cache partition. Go down and press CS. Yes. Okay, it's done. Now go to install zip from SD card. And you guys should choose choose zip from SD card. Go that and press the home button. Now scroll down till you guys see root. That's the folder you guys created. And you guys should be able to see the file CM 10.1 2012 and those stuff. Go ahead and press the home button to install it. Now scroll down and you guys have to verify and press yes. 
and it's installing installing package and those stuff so this should take less than a minute or something it's really fast as you can see the bar okay it's done installing so now we'll go back and go and go to wipe cache partition if you guys don't do this it will basically go in the boot loop and you guys don't want to do that now go to reboot system now and press the home button and your phone should restart now you guys should have Science mod 10.1 Android 4.2 on a device. You guys should be able to see the Science mod splash screen like that. So it should take I think less than 20 seconds to start and boot up the device. Okay guys we have Android 4.2 Press OK. Go to the app draw. Press OK again and go to settings. Scroll down. Go to above phone. And you guys should be able to see Android 4.2.1. Let's hold it. See, we have Jelly Bean. So that's basically it, guys. That's how we get Android 4.2 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to see more just like this, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.